Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 26. Inside this video session, guys, we will discuss about session service. In the last video, we had seen all about using pager service and implemented all about the pagination feature. Now, inside this video, we will use all about session service. So as I think that if you have studied all about Code Igniter version 3, then you might have idea about that is how can we use session inside Code Igniter application. But inside this Code Igniter 4, the use of session is totally different. If I back to editor, this is our site controller. Now inside this controller, we are going to create a method. So let's say public function. I will create my own custom method that is user session and now if we want to use the session based concept first of all we need to load our session service so what I will do simply I will create an instance so let's say session equal to config and inside this we have services and inside this services we have session so simply, if we need to use session based concept in Code Igniter 4, we need to load its service first. So simply, we have created an instance of that. By the help of this session instance or let's say session variable, we will call different different methods. Those methods each, which is used to set values, get values, remove values, as well as destroy all session values. So first of all, let's understand about that is how can we use a value to set in Code Igniter 4. So what I will do, let's make a comment here. Setting, let's say settings of user session values. Now what I will do, simply session, this is the instance what we have created and by the help of set method. Inside this set method, we need to pass data and value. Data refers to the key. By the help of that key, actually we will call and get that value. So let's say that I will create a key, something called let's say username. And inside this key, simply if we store this value as Sanjay underscore Kumar. Now by the help of this username key, we can get this value. So successfully by the help of this method, when we run into the browser, it will create this instance and it will store this value inside this username key. Back to routes.php, let's create a route. If I copy, pasting it here, let's say user hyphen session. This is going to call site controller and inside site controller we have method of user session. Now go here. If I save these changes, go to routes.php, copy this route, go here and if I type index.php and simply type the method called user hyphen session, there is no output. It means successfully we have stored our value inside session. If I back to editor, now let's read this value what we have stored inside this username key. So what I will do, simply comment this line. Let's make one more line of comment. This is something reading session value. And what I will do, let's say session, we will use get method and inside this get method, the IntelliSense says that we need to pass our key name. So in our case, we have the key name as username. So what I will do, simply I have written echo and the value. Save this change, go and reload this page. If I make some zoom, now as we can see that this is the value what we have stored inside this username key variable. This is all about printing our session value inside output screen. Now let's say that if we want to remove this value from our session, what should I use? So simply let's say removing a session value. Simply we need to call session 
and we need to call remove method same inside this remove method we need to pass the key name so in our case the key name is something username so what I will do copy and paste save these changes go and reload this page now successfully user session route actually removed this key from our session now again if I comment this line uncomment that simply we are reading the value but as we know that this variable or this key has been totally destroyed from our session so now if I reload as we can see that we are not getting any value inside this output screen this is all about storing a variable getting a variable as well as removing a session value in some cases instead of storing a simple value we want our array values should be stored what I mean if I back to slide open a new tab let's say that we have a user data array inside this array we have the key as name it will store some value we have another key like email it has some value again we have something let's say ID it has some value and so on so as we can see that inside this case user data is an array inside this array we have three different keys like name email and ID you can store more than that now this time we are storing multiple values so what I will do go to editor so instead of storing a single value let's say session we will use the same method called set this time we are going to create a user data variable and inside this case we will store array values so let's say array the first value we want as name the second key we will have called email id and inside this name let's say that this is the name i'm going to store inside this email let's say that this is our email and id is something let's say 100 now this time this is also a session key but inside this session key we have three different values now in some cases let's say later on if we want to push or add a new key inside this array so we have a different method for that it means let's say that if we want to add a phone number key inside this what I will do session we will use push method and inside this simply let's say user data because this is the key in which we want to add our value and inside this key we want that phone number phone underscore number this is let's say dummy value now inside this adding this piece of code what actually it will do it is going to add this phone number inside this array so simply if we save all these changes go to browser reload this page now it has stored the values means array values inside session let's see how can we read these values now if I make comment of all these lines let's say user data equal to session let's say get and we have the key called user data simply if I write a formatting tag let's say print r we have user data variable this is not user model actually user data now if we save all these changes go and reload this page and as we can see that name email id and this is the different key what we have added apart from these lines instead we have added separately and the last method that actually we are going to discuss is that here we have stored multiple values inside this key but now let's say that we want to destroy all the values at once here by using this remove method actually we can remove any specific key from this array or let's say a specific value only but in case if we want to destroy all the values simply we need to do something as session and we have a method called destroy don't need to actually pass 
any key or variable name inside this method while calling it session destroy automatically it will going to destroy all the session variables what we have stored inside this whole application but in case if suppose we don't want to destroy all the application sessions instead we want to destroy only this user data so in that case we will use this remove method simply we need to pass called session remove copy this user data key and we need to pass inside this method so this is all about guys guys that is how can we use session service to actually add our values get our values adding different values remove and destroy methods in very previous video sessions also we had seen the temporary data concept that is how can we use sessions to display the temporary messages those messages are called flash messages so successfully guys inside this video we have completed all about the concept of using sessions in the next video we will see some more different concepts so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day